Hey, 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 everyone, and welcome to the Soulful Sunday session. I have an announcement to make, but before I start, hit the link in the bio. Shop Happily by Goddess Bee, get all your spiritual health needs, sage bundles, candles, wax mounts, chakra bee bracelets, okay, sexy waist beads, and much, much more. So you guys, please shop heavenly, hit the link in the bio. Also, catch up on the pick cards I do upload every Monday on my YouTube channel, Talks With Mimi. And also, you guys, this will be my last Soulful Sunday session for a well, because I will be focusing on something. Okay, I got to take care of some personal things. So, you will be seeing me, uh, I would say, last as far as the sessions on Instagram. But uh, as far as the pick of cards, you can definitely catch up on that on my YouTube channel. Okay, on Monday. So, you guys, and I also be posting some new products, okay? Uh, managing the shop and all, because that's what I'll be doing. Plus some other personal things, okay? So, yeah, you guys. Let's get straight into the topic. I don't have anything in particular. I had like a bunch of things I wanted to cover today. Um, specifically when it comes to uh, arguments, okay? With your person. With someone you love. It doesn't have to be romantic, but you guys know how it is. I don't know if you guys have ever uh, gotten to... Uh, the toxic side of your relationship where you guys are like disagreeing on every little thing or uh, when you get past the honeymoon stage you guys start picking at each other's flaws okay it might be some name calling just try to flip over okay new moon so some of you could have definitely got into a relationship in the last new moon okay within the last I would say 12 weeks 12 weeks, even could have been a year, okay, since you guys have been together. 12 weeks to a year, okay? So the relationship is kind of new. If you guys are connecting with new people, it could be new friends, also uh, new coworkers, new associates, uh, acquaintances, okay? You guys, as you get past that uh, honeymoon stage or you guys love each other and just so in awe of each other's energy, all of a sudden, you guys are seeing everything they do as like a disgust or something. Like the way they chew toast, the way they eat breakfast, the way they sneeze, the way they sleep. It just disgusts you, okay? Or even the way they uh, the way they think, okay? Their values, their morals. Yeah, I, I had a, a disagreement with uh, I would say a new acquaintance. I wouldn't say they're friends yet. But we definitely disagree on some things, okay? We're all we disagreeing on some things. But um, I think it's past the, the honeymoon stage. It's, it's almost, I'll say a few months. It's, yeah, it's been a few months. But yeah, we're, we're definitely uh, past that honeymoon stage. You know how the person is uh, around you and you guys just, if you laugh, you snort, you really don't care what they think. Okay, you're not trying to impress those people. And I don't blame you, but you guys, whenever you get past the honeymoon stage of a relationship or any connection, try to stay, I would say try to stay a little uh, compassionate when it comes to that person because some of you guys can go all in. Sometimes I see people just go in on that person. They've been with that person for like years and they're really comfortable, you know, really content with that person. They don't fear their person leaving the relationship or the connection for any reason. But sometimes when they get angry with each other, the conversations, the arguments, the pettiness people have, the level of pettiness I hear from people when I hear them arguing in public or even arguing, like I said, in the store, um, just somewhere where I'm, you know, there to witness it. It's just really sometimes a little, uh, I would say, entertaining. Okay, look, moon, full moon. You guys got new moon and full moon. Something could be happening. I, I don't, I'm not sure if the new... Let me see where the moon is, where the moon phase. Because I have not been up with the moon. I've been focusing on some things. Um, but let me see where the moon cycles are. I'm going to try to see where they are right now. Let me see. Where is the moon cycle? Tonight, I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna get a schedule of the moon. 
the moon phases in it and the calendar. Yeah, so the full moon and the new moon uh, may be significant to you guys. Some of you guys may be a cancer or you have some cancer placements, some water placements. I feel like if you guys were having a disagreement or a spat or, you know, so anything, uh, I would say uncomfortable, any kind of a comfortable uh, conversation you're having with your person or even a close friend. Like I said, please try to bring some sort of compassion in it, okay? Because you know how you get comfortable with people, you kind of take them for granted, you don't think they're going to leave. But they end up leaving you if you say the wrong thing, okay? One wrong thing. I'm not saying uh, walk on, you know, walk on eggshells around this person. Yeah, this is a waning, uh, a waning uh, crescent, okay? Yeah, this is the waning crescent. Okay. Yeah, so the new moon is coming up, okay? I think the full moon just passed. Yeah, the next new moon, I think it's next week. Yeah. So, yeah, it's on the 28th. So, yeah, you guys could have uh, gotten to a new argument with this person, a new spat. But um, I'm saying if you guys got into the argument during the full moon, you guys should be expecting a resolution by the new moon, okay? Some secrets about to be revealed. You guys want to feel how a person really feels about you. You know, maybe they're tired of cleaning up the house or they're tired of uh, playing along with your uh, your little shenanigans, okay? They don't like the way you guys eat toast. I don't know why I keep hearing that. They don't like the way you guys chew. I don't know. I don't, I don't even want to be the bearer of uh, bad news. But for some of you guys, it, it could be um, some sort of infidelity or something like that. Who knows? Okay, moonflower. See, moon. There's something about this moon. Some of you are definitely uh, intuitive. You're a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I'm seeing uh, Cancer. Cancer and Pisces. Okay? Some of you guys have a really, really uh, bad side. I can, a really aggressive side to your personality. That's your person. I don't think your person quite uh, have witnessed or experienced yet. Okay? So uh, before you go full force, make sure you ease your person on into it, you know, if it, especially if it's, if it's uh, past that honeymoon phase, honeymoon, okay, moon, moon. Some of you guys are really intuitive. You guys know um, something's up with your person, okay, whoever you guys are connecting with. This has something to do with your person's um, behavior lately. Maybe they've been keeping their distance away from you. You know, staying up at night, some of you guys might be plagued by insomnia, you know, like not being able to sleep after an argument or after a fight. Um, No one likes to go to bed, you know, angry or upset. So you guys, be just my uh, advice for uh, this week, if you guys are arguing with your person, try to take out some time to reflect on what the argument, okay, what the disagreement is really about, because some people have really have unnecessary breakups and and confusion and also uh animosity and hostility in their relationship when they really don't have to or they can just get out their ego okay look within and see how they're contributing to certain things whenever i see this 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 spirit of bear i think of aggression okay i think of uh hostility how bears are when they encounter people who kind of uh threaten their personal space bears do not play the spirit of the bear Okay, so some of you guys that you've been going along with something that you really don't like, like agreeing with things with your person because you don't want to, uh, I would say, finally get to the reality of the relationship. You guys want to stay in that honeymoon stage. Okay, you guys want to keep the peace by not saying something. But I feel like some of you guys are kind of bothered by something that your person is doing or saying their behavior. It's kind of like provoking uh, anger. Uh, I would say hidden resentment towards them in some way. And in order for you guys to reach some sort of resolution, okay, and, and come to some sort of harmony and peace within your relationship, somebody has to pop off. Somebody got to tell the truth. 
So if you guys are harboring uh, certain feelings, especially feelings of resentment because your person, um, their behavior is not what you expect or not, you know, what you're used to or something about them, you guys want them to stop doing, let them know, okay? Um, like I said earlier, some people get a little uh, complacent or really uh, comfortable with the person they're with. They start to take that person for granted and start to uh, mistreat them, okay? And sometimes talk to them any type of way. I mean, really unleash the pettiness onto that person, okay? But if you guys find yourself doing that, please stop doing that, okay? That is not healthy and that is not right uh, to your person, as far as your person. But if... um. Some of you guys, this is not you. If you are a water sign, uh, please get out of your dark side. Get out of that negative side of your personality and really speak up for yourself and not be so timid and not agree with things that you guys know you, you're not um, okay with, okay? With your person drinking too much or uh, maybe inviting friends over a little too much, you know, or sometimes running into other people expressing their emotions and uh, feelings and thoughts about you and the relationship to other people, bringing other people energies into your relationship. If you find your person doing that, you have an issue, don't be afraid to tell them or let them know what it is. I mean, do come at them with some sort of compassion. You know, don't be extra, you know, rowdy. Try to come to them calmly, nicely after you guys have eaten something, okay? After you guys are really in a great mood. Uh, where you guys feel like you're not going to yell or feel the urge to just spaz off. Make sure you guys are in a really calming and uh, I would say almost sedative type of uh, energy or atmosphere before you have this conversation with this person or before you bring this to this person's attention, okay? Because like I said, sometimes it's all about how you control the emotions, okay? Sometimes you don't have to uh, go off and and, and uh, try to resolve things with force, okay? Because that just makes things worse. Calm that ass down. But if a person constantly go past your, your boundaries or tries to guilt you or coerce you into doing something you guys aren't uh, open for, you guys are not up to, please don't allow that person to do it because you want to stay in that uh I would say the good graces of the honeymoon phase or you guys don't want to rock the boat with that person don't betray yourself okay so expect you guys this week uh sometime this week by the by the new moon expect you guys to um resolve your issues okay whatever arguments and disagreements you guys are having okay and for others of you, you need to pick up on your intuition, uh, use your intuition and, and really uh, evaluate the, I would say, the root of the issue in you guys' disagreements in your relationship. Is it is it truly your person and what they're doing or is it you just nitpicking and, and, and wanting to control things and control how the person behaves, okay? So definitely you guys, uh, yeah, use that heart chakra. Uh, be compassionate not only to uh, your person, but also to yourself. Okay? Try to figure out if you're the problem and, and try to um, love on yourself and give yourself uh, what you're missing. Some of you guys could have self-esteem issues when you feel like you have to control another person to feel powerful. But you don't have to do that. Um, and if a person isn't showcasing things that you would love them to, you know, to do or you love them to say, you guys automatically look at that person as being a problem or being an issue because you have uh, a certain, uh, I would say, uh, disgust, okay, or repulsion for what they do, what they stand for, what they say, okay? And you guys can't force people to, to be like you, okay? Everyone is unique. Embrace your uniqueness and allow your person to embrace their uniqueness if you guys are the nitpicky type of person who are just... Uh, you know, finding flaws in your person. After that honeymoon phase, please stop and assess why you feel the way that you're feeling because you could be self-sabotaging your relationship and blaming it on your person. So yeah, you guys, I got to tie this up. Thank you so much for watching for this last uh, Soulful Sunday session. I hope to see you guys soon, um, sooner, you know, hope it's not too long. But thank you guys for watching so much. Hit the link in the bio, okay? I love you guys and have a beautiful, beautiful, soulful Sunday. Bye.